So let me just see if you can see here everything. Lovely. I'm using a new computer. Um, I hope you are able to hear me. Um, it would be lovely if you can just do a thumbs up or something like this into the comments or a heart then I know that everything is working here on my side. It's always a little bit of a challenge if you... On one side I'm excited to have a new computer. <laughs> on the other side, until I've set up everything the way I like and have access to all my tools and apps, <gasps> takes uh, uh, definitely a couple of days because I'm using lots of them. Um, okay, let me just see that where is this other thing there um okay let me refresh it so i can see a little bit if somebody is is there already and if this is yeah i see four people are in there lovely okay just give me give me a thumbs up give me a, a heart or just write in the comment so that you can hear me, um, that would be absolutely uh, lovely. Um, two weeks ago, somebody asked me to talk a little bit about Facebook ads. That's what uh, I will do here today. On one side, it's quite simple, but uh, like uh, usual, uh, the, the trick is in the detail. While I'm able to talk about it, we are spending... Um, quite a bit on social media advertising. Um, Facebook is definitely one of the, the major sources for our leads. And I think it is for most businesses definitely the right um, platform to advertise. Okay, let me just see. <laughs> I see you are. Thanks very much. Okay, that means obviously you can hear and see me. That is great. Um, so that means I'm doing this now, I don't know, six, seven years or something like this with the paid advertising. And um, I found most of the things. I had some German coaches in between. They just gave me some insights. I'm using at the moment again some German coaches to give me the latest update on what's happening, what's the best, how to save also budgets. And um, I tried in between uh, one ex, um, American uh, business to help me with my Google and Facebook ads. It was a mess, honestly. And then I uh, tried another South African business they they just fiddled around on their own and it went down 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 because they didn't use the right words there are a couple of things absolutely important so and um, what i always say is whenever you want to do something like this think about how you are reacting be a little bit more conscious what ads are you seeing what is interesting you when do you click when do you just scroll scroll over as soon as you put a little bit of awareness into this um, you have a good idea how people in general will react are we all different yes i totally understand and you will not be able to do advertising for everybody yeah so so I always say have a look at what works for you, your chances that it will work for others are quite high. So and then uh, that's number one is just next time you go to Facebook just be a little bit of a, a little bit aware what ads do you see, what would you like, what don't you like. Have a look at the text, have a look do they do pictures, is there any uh, um, text on the pictures. Do they do uh, videos? Um, and is there a clear um, call to action on it? Do they just want to click here to order your business plan? Or is there a click here to get a, uh, an appointment with us to, for a consultation? Is there a click here to, um, to download, download a free guide? That's something what uh, what we are doing most of the time. So have a look, 
be prepared um, and prepare yourself. Boy Simon, good morning. Um, Seeding Guana, good morning everybody. Lovely. Okay, yeah. So that's the one, one part I definitely would like to, to highlight. Do your own research and just have a look. Okay, I'm looking at this, I'm looking at this, I like this, I don't like that. That gives you leg and make some notes. Yeah. So, and then um, what I see lots of times is people just um, put out an advertising, advertising and say, buy your, I'm just sticking here to funding connection to our services, buy a business plan. Now click here. I'm always saying it is a little bit like you're going from door to door, knocking on everybody's door and say, you need a business plan? Oh no, so sorry. Okay, thanks, bye. Knock, knock, knock. You need a business plan? Your chances that anybody of them will say yes, yes, is quite low. Yeah. So now what you do is now you need to target um, on Facebook. You need to have a look who could be interested. What do they say about themselves? Um, Facebook has lots of data from all of us. You know, so usually male, female, age, what are you interested in? They are following you on all websites, whoever has a website pixel on there, so they know what, uh, what you are interested in. And of course, usually you also select on your settings what you are interested in. It has something to do which groups do you belong to, yeah? So, and well, that's a good thing. On one side, um, specifically for Germans, it's a scary thing. That there's a big brother knowing everything about you. That also means, of course, if you're online, please be uh, aware. I think that's the right word. Yeah, What you're doing there, that is important. So, and now you can say, okay, so for business plans, that needs to be entrepreneurs, business owners, yeah, or interested in starting a business. And you can tell that when you go into Facebook ads, you can really target them. The beauty is, let's say you have a, um, a gym, you can also say target people in 10 kilometers area of that gym. Yeah, and share this and offer then a free, uh, free session. Set up a, a calendar and then let them click a link, go into a calendar and then just set up a, a free session with one of your instructors. That is also working really, really nicely. You just need to think about what do people want in your area and are they more about fitness? Are they more about building muscles? You know, what is also your studio all about? Yeah, is this more? So I went for over two years for uh, to a gym uh, in Germany after a car accident. And that was specifically a gym for rehabilitation. You know, so my back was uh, messed up, so I needed to uh, to make sure that my muscles getting the strength there, and it worked definitely well for me. And they were specific set up for this. Then there are others; they are just recreation. Others are for bodybuilding. You know, so and this is something what you need to please. Uh, okay. I bet one that is definitely not on here okay so um, and please people private projects from a million to 500 million US dollars let me tell you that's usually a spam um, okay so let me just explain that here and then I can't believe that Please, people, be careful with these promises. Uh, this is usually not correct, yeah? Uh, not usually, all the time, you know? So you can't get 500 million US dollars for, for a project like this. Um, people are really, really, 
crazy. <laughs> okay, let's, you see what's happening here on Facebook. You always need also to make sure, of course, if you have your Facebook page, keep it tidy, keep it clean. Um, if there is somebody saying something, I'm always saying uh, correct it or explain why we're doing things like this. But uh, yeah. Okay, so Facebook ads, let's go back to that. Um, so what you need to do is you definitely need to, to make sure that you are clear about also your target market, it's something what you can do nicely with Facebook if you go then into the um, Facebook ad system. The um, setting up an ad on Facebook honestly is not really that complicated. It is quite nicely explained. You have three levels uh, and then where you can put the information into it. Um, so the trick is not doing these things on Facebook. That is easy. The trick is the effort you put in before. Yeah. Number one is what do you really want to offer? Don't be too too blunt and like this guy just say, okay, I'm I'm offering here now. You some money, just contact me. Um, that is usually um, not working, you know, or buy, um, buy my product right now here. I would not do that with Facebook ads. Usually people need to have seven uh, contacts with you to feel comfortable and confident and trust you to order from you. Yeah? And these contacts can be via your Facebook ads and then you usually need to make sure that you then so your ad needs to be strong people say i want to get in contact with this company I, uh, this is interesting and then you need to get their email address and telephone number and put that into your newsletter system and then you need to use your newsletter system on a regular basis to get in contact with client build the trust that you are an expert yeah if you are on our newsletter, you know these things. You are definitely able to, um, to follow me there and have a good idea what is working. Because what we are doing is definitely working. Yeah. So, um, and then Facebook ads, you need to think about, do you want to do photos? Um, do you want to do some videos? Do you want to do only one photo, one picture, and then, or you can also do carousels. Um, think about the headlines. That's all the, the information you usually see when you are um, in an ad. What are they saying? Think about there are two different levels, main header and under header, and uh, you can choose, choose, give Facebook the choice, choose five header, choose five subheader so that fa because Facebook will try what is working best for you yeah um, they want to earn money with you that means they need to give you some uh, um, some good leads and so that's again something just make a note please do do only go for lead generation okay don't go for brand awareness we are all not uh, not uh, not coca-cola we are not toyota or bmw yeah so if you're on that level your brand awareness makes sense we are playing on a level where we want to generate leads I want to spend one rand and want to get 10 rand out of it. Yeah, Most um, marketing agencies, you spend one rand and you get five rand out of it. That's already good. Um, that is what they can definitely confirm. Our margin is definitely different because it's also, it's me, I'm with, in contact with our clients. I know what words they are using. I'm not talking about um, the using the financial language. I'm using the uh, normal language and uh, use the words our clients are using. Yeah. So that is the difference that makes also the difference for your advertising. I'm just um, at the moment busy with uh, two different uh, additional business ideas here. 
Well, um, where we will add some um, some extra additional services. And the one service uh, what you want to add is definitely something what I can see um, that um, the language they are using on all their websites, absolutely crazy. I have a good idea what um, what this is all about, but when I read them, I don't understand that, you know, so, and you need to speak the language of your clients. Ask them questions, do some, um, some surveys, so that you can definitely um, use this, these words in your ads, yeah? Okay, so let me just go quickly through through it as a as a repeater because I know for you I was a little bit all over the place. So the first thing is prepare. Yeah, think about what do you like. You want to do um, photo carousel or a small little video. Number two, you need to think about what do you want to offer. Yeah, don't be the one who's knocking on every day everybody's door and just offering some random services or products. Think about how can you uh, really attract your potential client? What is attractive for them? Yeah, And please don't stay away from uh, discount codes and all these things specifically in the beginning. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Next part is um, Use the words your clients are using in your advertising. All these things you are preparing before you even go into Facebook. Yeah, Think about what they are looking for, what is their pain point, uh, what are they struggling with, what sort of solution are you offering. So, and uh, then you also want to know, who, uh, think about who is your ideal client, male, female, which age group, um, which interest do they have, because Facebook offers all of this, which job um, position they may have, because also Facebook has this information. In some cases, which area are you in? If you, if you, are, um, if you have a shop or an office and you need people to come there, you can even set that up 10, 20 kilometers around my office, um, that's where, uh, who I want to target, yeah? And if you have all these things in place, then you need to think about, okay, so I want to collect, I want to have people uh, give them the possibility just to set up an appointment. That means you need an online calendar, yeah? You want to have people, give people the possibility to download a a guide or a checklist, then you need to have a newsletter system set up so that you then they sign up and then they go to your newsletter system and the newsletter system just then sends them the, it's called freebie, yeah, or lead magnet, whatever you want to call it, both words are used. And so you see, it's not only let's go into Facebook, do some ads and that's it, there needs to be a little bit of preparation and there is more to it around the Facebook ads than just only being on Facebook. Yeah, It is, like I said, the Facebook ads itself is not really challenging. The full setup is a little bit more complex and I can see that lots of times that people don't understand that. Okay, so I think I spoke enough now. Are there any questions from you? Let me just see. Do you think this was helpful? Did it give you a little bit more of an idea uh, what to do here? Hmm. Okay. So, no comments. Okay, that's okay. So maybe it was a little bit, um, it is complex. 
it is complex it's not that easy and like i said i've uh, also worked with national and international marketers and although i only hired two i had uh, i was in contact with a couple of them and i could see that people don't see the big picture maybe they see the big picture and they thought they don't need to share that with me but because they haven't shared that with me that they know more i didn't even use them and that can also be yeah so you see what is what you always need to be um, careful if you are offering services um, share a little bit more because you want to be seen as an expert otherwise if i feel like i know more than my marketing agency then there is a problem Nkhaki Miriam says, thanks, it was helpful. Lovely. Okay. Great. Um, yes, if there's no more questions, that's absolutely um, in order. Somebody asked me also to talk about Google Ads. Let me tell you, I thought about it. I had a look again. Google Ads is complex. It's, re it's complex. It's expensive. Um, in the beginning, I would not recommend that. Yeah, you can do search. Uh, so, so if somebody Google's, uh, let's say company profile, then um, you can you can come up. You are competing against lots of other people, um, and setting this up is is definitely Google Ads alone. The system is gives me gray hairs you know so and I'm quite good with these things and uh, there are a couple of mistakes even on our side because I used other consultancies um, our tracking is messed up because every consultancy every marketing uh, person we hired use their own tracking system so now we are tracked each lead is tracked six times so now i'm sitting here now with the google together and we will need to fix this but doing these tracking systems is definitely um for me it's a nightmare specifically if you have a mistake <laughs> you know so maybe setting it up once is not so it's not so problematic um, but if there is a mess in there trying to delete something you can't even delete things here from from my side so that's why I need to have Google I wouldn't um, concentrate on on Facebook ads let me tell you why usually everybody is on Facebook yeah of course not everybody is there but a majority of your clients will be on Facebook and Facebook is nice because you're talking to people in their free time in their relaxed time yeah it's not so much about business 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 it's just um, um, more about how oh, yes so, so they are relaxed they are at home maybe sitting um, on their couch and just uh, scrolling through Facebook what's happening here and if you give them some a little bit more relaxed message then they will definitely um, go for you. Mati Bogo, thanks for the Facebook insight and the awareness in terms of other marketing efforts. Okay, pleasure, lovely, great. Thanks very much. Um, if there's anything else, just please feel free. You, you all know you can either way go here to uh, our Facebook Messenger. Brent is there on the other side if you have any questions. Otherwise, I give you the .coza slash contact on our website, um, the page where you can contact us and you see again I'm usually even not sharing my email address so I just want to make sure that everything goes through our system. Brent is in both cases on the other side. He will be able to assist you and guide you so that um, then we can, we are really able to advise you. Whenever you come to us, we will tell you the, your first next step. Either way, it is with us. We're offering then some of our services 
or we can say we can't really assist you, but there are alternatives we recommend going here or there. Yeah? Okay, lovely. Thanks very much for the nice morning session. And we will definitely see us next week, Monday again. Take good care. Bye-bye.